so the current in series circuit is same and current divides in parallel if we want to measure a current in the circuit so we connect an ammeter to measure current in the circuit then the current supplies can be dc or it can be ac so you may have a dc supply or you may have ac supply what's the difference between the two supplies like both are current dc d stands for direct and c stands for current so this is direct current supply and this is a stands for alternating and c is a current so what is the difference between ac and dc in dc supplies the direction of the current remain constant or the terminal of the battery remain fix where in ac supply the terminal of the battery continuously changes so what happen like example if you have a bulb or a lamp okay and the symbol for a dc supply this is a symbol for dc supply but for ac and for ac supply this is example the same circuit the lamp is there there is a reason why i am drawing it twice this is a symbol for ac supply so what is the difference between the two supplies for dc supply the terminal remain fixed example if it left hand side is positive right hand side is negative or other way around but it remain fixed so if the terminal remain fixed the direction of the current will be constant or fixed like the current always the conventional current move from positive to negative but what happen in ac supply alternating supply or or ac supply the direction the terminal continuously changes means first on your left hand side example is positive and right hand side is negative so what is the direction of the current conventional current it's from positive to negative but the supply which is giving this current it changes is the terminal the next moment right hand side is positive left hand side is negative and the direction of the current changes so ac supplies changes the direction of current continuously whereas dc supplies the direction of the current remain unchanged or fixed so current does not change direction in dc supply where current continuously changes direction in ac supplies so why the current continuously changes the direction in ac supplies because the positive and the negative terminal is not fixed it is continuously changing so as the positive and negative terminal is continuously changing that is why the direction of the flow of the charges will also change but whereas dc supplies 
the direction of the current does not change as the direction of the current does not change like the terminals so the so the direction remain unchanged so that's a difference between the ac supply and the dc supply normally is the battery the cell or the battery which we are using they are dc supply why because whenever you are for example if you buy a cell on this cell you will find it is written that which terminal is positive and which terminal is negative so on the cell it is written that positive and negative terminal it means that it remain constant so if the terminal remain constant so cell or a battery is a dc supply but what is a ac supply ac supply we are using every day appliances we are using so the main supply the electricity which we are using in our home that is ac supply so what happen you can see this like example if this is a socket and you want to connect a device example i want to connect a television to this socket so the way i connect the plug i can connect the plug different ways it will not make difference to the working of a television means example if i say change the color like example if this pin is red in color and the other pin is blue in color so if i connect the blue pin towards right and red pin towards left or if i change the other way around this plug the television will work so why it is working because the terminals are continuously changing so it does not make difference to the working of the component because what happened first right hand side is positive left hand side negative next moment what happened left hand side positive right hand side will be negative so the terminal continuously changing in the socket so it does not make difference even i can connect both ways it will work but in dc supplies like example if you connect a device other way around if you connect a cell in opposite direction the device will not work so ac supplies changes the direction continuously whereas dc supplies does not change the direction at all is it clear the concept of ac and dc supplies so sockets have ac supply sockets or main are ac supply like this is a socket so first this side is positive other side will be negative next moment what happen left hand side will be positive right hand side will be negative that's why you can connect a plug both ways means i can connect a plug in this manner or i can connect a plug other way around because it's an ac supply so ac supply continuously changes the direction so as it continuously changes the direction so i can connect this pin red pin which is on the right now and the black pin is on the left why because the terminals are continuously changing so ac supplies the terminals are not constant so we can connect anywhere any other way around as well it will work in both ways but for dc supplies because the direction of the current is only one way so there is only one way you can connect if you connect other way around the circuit will not work now what is voltage voltage is energy carried by
वोल्टेज इज एनर्जी कैरिड बाय यूनिट चार्ज सो हाउ मच एनर्जी वन कूलम ऑफ अ चार्ज कैरी दैट इज नोन एज वोल्टेज सो एग्जाम्पल द फॉर्मूला फॉर वोल्टेज इज वट इज कॉलम इट्स अट ऑफ चार्ज द चार्ज इज रेफर टू कूलम लाइक एग्जाम्पल इलेक्ट्रॉन इज देर इट्स अ चार्ज सो चार्जेस द चार्ज विच ए पार्टिकल कैरी दैट इज कॉल्ड अ कूलम द यूनिट ऑफ द चार्ज so voltage is equals to energy how much energy carried by the charge so it is energy divided by charge what's the meaning of voltage it means how much energy one charge carry like example if i say i have five coulomb charges this, this is a five coulomb charge okay and these charges move from one place to another and these charges are carrying the total energy which these five coulomb charge carrying is equals to 100 joules okay so 100 joule is the energy carried by five coulomb charge what is the voltage here voltage means how much energy carried by one coulomb of a charge or one charge so what's the voltage here so it will be energy is 100 divided by charge how many charges are there i have five charges so 100 divided by 5 so 100 divided by 5 that's equal to 20, 20 joules per coulomb so what does it means it means when one how much energy each charge the total energy is 100 joule which is carried by 5 but how much energy one charge carry each charge is carrying 20 joules of energy so the energy carried by one charge that is refers to voltage so joules per coulomb or you can also say volts so it's 20 joules per coulomb or you can also say 20 volts or 20 v so example if in on a cell if it is labeled 1.5v what does it means 1.5v what it say like it give an idea that the voltage is 1.5 so what it gives an idea it gives an idea that if one charge will come out from this if how much energy this charge will carry this charge will carry 1.5 joules if another charge is moving how much energy this will carry 1.5 joules if another charge is there which is coming out from battery how much energy it will carry that's also equal to 1.5 joules so voltage means how much energy is carried by the charge so charges carry energy and they transfer to the component as they move through the circuit so as you have seen like it's written on the supply is 220 volts what does it means on the supply it's written 220 volts so what does it means it means that if there is one coulomb of a charge it will carry 220 joules so 220 joules for every charge or every coulomb that's why like example if you hold like example if you are holding this cell uh, are you getting electric shock when you are holding a cell in your hand do you feel any shock electric shock you don't feel any shock when you are carrying this cell in your hand because it is only 1.5 joules by every charge and that is not enough energy which your body feel but for example if you touch by mistake if you touch a supply which is 220 volts what you feel you feel electric shock why you feel electric shock because 
more energy is transferred to your body because every charge is transferring 220 joules so if every charge is transferring 220 joules overall it is a higher energy that's why you will feel the energy which is supplied from the current to you so higher voltage supply more energy the limit you do there's no limit for max it can be any infinite number it can carry energy there's no limit even the high tension wire they are carrying 11000 volts or 11 kv for human tolerance it vary from uh, person to person 220 is a safe voltage but the thing is if this 220 volt pass for a longer period of a time then a person will die because what happened when the electrical charges are flowing through your blood through your body they transfer energy and ionize your blood so as the amount of blood decreases it can be fatal so electric shock if it pass for a longer period of a time it can be fatal yes salman the reason why a human being when they are coming in contact with any supply so the reason is that because you became a part of the circuit like example if this is a socket and you touch the socket so if you touch the socket you become part of the circuit means because you are on the ground so the charges are moving from your body transferring energy and going into the ground so you became a part of the circuit so as you become part of the circuit that's why the current continuously pass through your body and it will be harmful that's why when you are using electrical appliances or if you are repairing any electrical appliance or device so you should wear shoes with a rubber sole or a plastic sole normally rubber soles are common but any insulating material should be there so you are you don't have a contact with earth otherwise if you have a direct contact with the earth you will be part of the circuit and the current will continuously pass through you is it clear your question i answer because you you became a part of the circuit so as you become part of the circuit the it will be difficult to move away from this part and that's why the current continuously pass until your body does not have a tendency to conduct current because the conduction of a current depends on blood as well as our nervous system because our nervous system also use electrical pulses so if any one of them or totally both of them damage then only we Can so, sir, two twenty volt means every charge has two two twenty joules. Yeah, every charge carry two twenty joules. Each coulomb or every charge carry two twenty joules. Is it clear the concept of voltage? So, if we say. One ten volts or hundred and ten volts. Normally, what happen if, uh, for example, your question is, if we plug an object that need one point five to a socket which supply more, so what happen? It can damage the circuit because. It's it supply more than what is needed. The circuit cannot hold this or. trap there so or use this energy so it produce a heating effect and that can damage the whole circuit so that's why like example if you if your device is 110 volts labeled and you connect your device to 220 volts 
then it this can damage this 110 volt supply or device because that's higher voltage what is labeled or the rating it produce heating effect which can damage the components in the circuit so for devices specific labels are there whenever you are buying any electrical appliance or a device they mention what voltage i they mention i like and it's not like a fix it's they mention from 220 to 240 so it can work within this range efficiently most of our devices which we are using are designed to work in this range which slide you are talking about current I shared this uh, presentation on the group as well. So voltage. is how much energy carried by unit charge then this voltage can be divided into two categories so voltage is divided into two categories what are the categories of the voltage voltage can be refers to electromotive force and it can be refers to potential difference both are voltages but a small difference is there between them what is the meaning of electromotive force or emf so what is the meaning of electromotive force or emf it is energy which the charges get from the supply like example what happen when you have a battery or a cell which form of energy is there inside this cell or a battery chemical chemical energy so what happen there is a chemical reaction and on the cell it is written example 3v so on the cell it is label 3v what is the meaning of 3v 3 volts 3 3 joules in every charge every charge so if there is one charge every charge will get 3 joules that's the meaning of 3v 3 volts but why this charge have energy 3 joules what is the reason why the charge is having energy the charge is having energy because of chemical reaction inside the cell so when the charge get energy due to a chemical reaction that energy of a charge or voltage of a charge is known as emf electromotive force it's not a force it is actually voltage it is energy which carried by the charge so when charge get energy due to a chemical reaction
so when the charge is getting energy due to a chemical reaction what we call we call that as electromotive force or emf but when the charges are moving in the circuit like this is a charge which get energy due to chemical reaction and this charge example before entering it was having 3 joules but what happened the charges transfer their energy why they transfer their energy so that the device or the component can work so when they pass through they lose their energy so it will have 0 joule per coulomb how much energy is transferred by the charge when it passes through this lamp 3 joules 3 joules so the energy which is transferred by the charge by every charge that is called potential difference so what is the potential difference here the potential difference is 3 v so potential difference means it is energy transfer by the charge mr mr i didn't get it like in a battery uh, when the charge passes from the no in a battery there is a chemical zero. reaction in a battery there is a chemical reaction and this chemical reaction produce charges which have energy so why the charges are getting energy or why the charges are having energy so when the charges get energy due to a chemical reaction the energy of the charge which every charge carry we call that as emf electromotive force but when these charges passes through when these charges passes through the component they transfer their energy so when the charges transfer their energy how much energy transfer by the charge that is called potential difference or voltage so energy transfer by the charge is called potential difference energy carried by the charge is called electromotive force or emf so both are voltages both are the energies of the charges but one case the charge get energy another case the charge transfer if the charge get energy due to chemical reaction we call that as emf or you can say voltage if the charge passes through a component it transfer the energy what we call we call that as potential difference or pd or you can also say voltage so voltage is a common term but emf is specifically when the charge get energy and potential difference is specifically when the charge transfer energy it will transfer to the light source in this example it's a light source so it will turn into light energy or he some heat is also produced so when the charges transfer energy we call potential difference when the charges get energy due to a chemical reaction or charges have energy due to chemical reaction we call that as electromotive force or emf so in the circuit you will have both emf and potential difference because emf is what the charge get yes salman so sir basically uh, in uh, electromotive force the charge takes an uh, energy yeah, right. and in uh, and then uh, potential difference. light bulb it gives off energy it yeah it transfer energy that's called potential difference okay sir understand thank you so how much energy charges transfer is potential and how much energy charges get from the supply we call that as electromotive force or em yes sir yes in uh, in uh, all the circuits there is potential difference in all, all the circuits like every circuit has a potential difference potential it depends on the potential difference can be zero as well like i will give example a circuit in which the potential difference is zero Say, sir electromotive force are from chemical reactions but there yeah, are you, other uh, other energies but uh, that are not from chemical reactions so what do we call them no you can produce this is refers to even if a charge you you supply the energy to a charge normally by chemical way we supply the energy but even any other way is there and you supply energy to the charge you call that as emf electromotive force so example on the battery it is labeled 3 volts okay
so example on the battery it is labeled 3 volts a charge is coming out how much energy it will carry how much energy this charge will carry 3 joules so this charge will have 3 joules So example, you have uh, resistors. Resistors are also component which try to stop the flow of the charges. So example, before entering the charge have three joules of energy. When uh, it passes through R1, it loses because through resistor when the charges passes, they lose energy in the form of heat. So example, when this charge passes, it has two joules of energy. When it passes through the last resistor, it, it lose all of its energy. Example, it's having zero joules of energy. Now, what is the, what is the EMF of the battery? Electromotive force. It's not, the unit of EMF is not Newton. It is always, uh, it's same as energy. Uh, per charge, so it's volts or joule. So EMF is equal to three. If I say, what is the potential difference here? PD. Div how much energy transferred by the charge? It was originally three joules per coulomb. Now it's having two joules. So how much energy transfer? That transfer is one joule per coulomb. So the potential difference here is one V. What is the potential difference when it passes through the second resistor? It's equal to 2V. So potential difference is basically how much energy transfer by the charge when it passing through the component and EMF electromotive force is the energy carried by the charge when chemical energy changes to electrical energy. And in, normally in potential difference, the electrical energy changes to other forms such as heat, light. Is it clear the concept here, the potential difference and EMF? How the charge is moving, the movement of the charge, because there's a chemical reaction, when there's a chemical reaction, so it's a buildup of the charge, like identical charges are produced. And like charges repel each other. So as the like charges repel each other, so they force each other to move in the circuit. The movement of the charge or the flow of the charge is called current. So look, when the charge returned to the battery, it will not have any energy, electrical energy to transfer, but there is a current, the flow will be there. The charges move, they transfer energy and they return back. So voltage, is responsible for the working of the device not because if higher voltage is there greater amount of energy is transferred to the component sir what if we put two batteries in a circuit if you put two batteries in the circuit then it depends on how you away from each other no how you connect the two batteries like example positive and negative and you connect negative and positive so in this case both batteries want to transfer energy but in opposite direction because from positive to negative so if there is a bulb like if i say this battery is three volts this is also three volts so three joules per coulomb when the charge is coming from here and three joules per coulomb so what will happen to the lamp lamp will light up Yes or no? This lamp. No, it will not. Right? It will not. Why? Because both charges want to transfer the same amount of energy, but in opposite direction. So they cancel out each other. That's why this lamp will be 